Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to see the lines we need to know and we need to draw on the cast before we begin any of our work, whether we are making a record base or we are making a crucial rim or while teeth setting. We need to have all these lines on the cast so that we don't make mistake. These are the guidelines that we need to follow. Hi, this is Hina, the voice behind Dr. Teeth. Why smash your head in your textbook when we are here to make dentistry easy for you? So before we proceed to the video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And also, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and comment as it motivates us to create more videos of this kind. For more amazing content, don't forget to visit our website where we have MCQs, courses and much more. So let's begin. So first of all, we will begin by marking the depth of the sulcus. And if you look closely, the sulcus is little wide. Now where to draw it? We have to draw the line where the bone ends and the sulcus begins. So this will help us mark correctly the position of our custom tray, the position of our spacer because 2 mm above this line should be the custom tray and 2 mm further above should be the extension of the spacer. Okay, then we will mark all the frenums. And then we have to mark the crest of the ridge. This is done by placing your pencil horizontally. Okay. After this, we will be marking the maxillary tuberosity, the anterior line of the maxillary tuberosity should be extended to the land area of the cast. So this will be the end of our maxillary rim. That is the position of the second molar. Okay. Then extend the crest of the ridge line on the posterior surface and on the posterior cast. So this will help us during articulation. Also, this line will help us during making of the occlusal rim as well as during teeth setting as we will see in the upcoming videos. Then we will mark the incisive papilla and we will take a measuring scale and bisect this incisive papilla. Now when you bisect it, we will draw a line on the ridge and will extend it to the land area. When we bisect it from the center, the line will end at the end of the lateral incisor. But if we draw a line from the posterior part of the incisive papilla and extend it on the land area that will be the position of the tip of the canine and we will see this while teeth setting. Now we will extend the line from the crest of the ridge on the anterior surface of the cast that will help us in making the occlusal rim and setting up our posterior teeth. So take a point 4 mm ahead of the anterior end of the maxillary tuberosity. And from there, the area where this straight line starts to get curved should be the other point. Now we got a straight line. Now what we have to do, we have to extend this line on the anterior surface of cast. And we have already extended that line on the posterior surface of the cast. Okay. So as you can see, I'm trying to extend the line on the anterior land area of the cast. So now we are done with the teeth lines that will help us while making rims, while teeth setting and even while mounting. So I hope you found this video helpful. In the next video, we are going to learn about the teeth lines on the mandibular cast. If you like the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. It really motivates me to create more videos of this kind. Also, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And you can also visit our website to learn more. See you next time.